What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I am Rich Dada and look at the hat. It's great. Okay, we're here for another awesome episode. Uh, super excited. We are going to go tame the beer drinkers. The beer drinkers will be ours. I think they're called the Calicos, the Cal Calico Theorem or Calico Theorem or something like that. Uh, they always walk on their knuckles and we've been trying to find out how to tame them and we found this beer. Uh, we did this off camera. We built uh, some beer barrels and it, I guess it's really simple. You just put berries and thatch in there and you have it irrigated and then it will create something called beer liquid. You put a glass jar in there and then boom, you've got beer. It does take six hours though. So it's not like boom, you've got beer. You put it in there and then you log off and then you go do something for six hours and then you've got one beer. So obviously we've been working on this for eh, since yesterday. Uh, we just added this other one this morning. Uh, we tamed another RG or another RG. We tamed a couple Toronodons, bred the Toronodons, uh, lost the Toronodon. We got an RG. We got a Deodon named Puma, not Pumba. If we get a, a male, it'll be Pumba. But this guy's super cool. Look at him. He's just like, he's just so funny. I've never actually had one of these before. They're he they're for healing. You can heal things massively. But they eat like crazy. So we're just having to constantly fill up that trough. Because this guy is just a freaking pig. Literally. What's up, Puma? Alright. Enough of the chitter chatter. Let's go. Alright. We are off to find a Calico Ethereum. We're we're trying to find the bro. The beer drinking bro. And we're going to make him our buddy. No, they're like mobile siege dinosaurs. They like pick up poop or mud or something. And... They chuck them, and apparently it could damage stone. So I really want one. I think they'd be really good for raiding. I'm super excited. Uh, Purge starts on Friday, and we have actually found two bases that we're we're thinking about paying a visit to once the purge starts. Uh, specifics on the purge is that it's not going to matter if the person is online or offline. You're you're able to to raid them. ORP will be turned off. I'm not going to be a total dick if they're not online, but that's the thing about the purge is it has a specific time that it starts and PvP. Um, I've seen them all over here. I believe this is a rare spawn though, so we might actually have to go kind of far. And something cool that TLC one patch actually we get it on the 23rd or the 20th. What's today's date? Today's the 18th. We should be getting on the 20th, I believe. Uh, what do we get? A grenade and a shotgun. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, we'll be getting that with the first round of updates. And also, they released the information for the Sarko as part of TLC 2. And it got basically what we kind of we, we talked about. So, the, the look of it, the new look is it's good. It's nothing crazy different like oh my god this is a brand new dinosaur like the the dire bear and the dire wolf significant improvements on the visuals the sarco it's better it, it's not crazy um but it actually is getting uh oh yeah let's get this meat did he even get it i don't know uh he's getting those abilities that we kind of talked about so the first one's a grab and roll attack um yeah i'll go this way and look for another one first one is a grab and roll attack it's going to be able to grab smaller creatures and grab them and roll while it's in its mouth and it will grab on and spin aggressively Ooh, that's an alpha raptor i don't want to play with that and then a 180 degree attack where it can just completely turn around right behind it and attack something behind it i'm kind of curious if it's going to be able to stay facing like is it a complete spin or is it just like it just but hits its tail or, or bites behind it oh uh it just says attack something directly behind it so that doesn't really say i'm hoping it can make it so where they can just turn and turn the opposite direction really quickly that will make sarcos pretty mobile they're already really good swimmers but out of land they're slow and fat okay there's no there's no calico theorems up here so Hmm. I'm trying to think. Where else could I go? 
Uh, the winter biome. Yeah, so let's go this way and we're going to go to the winter biome. And then the last thing is it's going to get a short lunge attack where it's going to be able to lunge forward and grab its prey by surprise. So that'll be pretty cool. It's uh, kind of, I'm guessing it's kind of like the Capro, but the Capro lump, uh, blah, English uh, leaps forward and can rip people off of mounts and stuff like that. But it's a short lunge attack. Specific on that. Kind of curious. Hmm. I think it'll be good. I think it's going to be very different for the Sarko and make them kind of a threat. Especially if you can get a high level one or a decent one. They're, they're fast swimmers. Will help you gather oil and all kinds of other shenanigans in the water. I'm excited. I'm excited for Jeff to get a complete overlook and over overlay. Flip. He's getting a makeover. He is getting a makeover and then he is just going to be fabulous. It's, it's, it's going to be awesome. All right, and, oh, that's right. Oh, I almost forgot. And Sarkos are now going to be natural piranha deterrents. Oh, sorry for the leaves in your face. I'm going to grab fur armor and go to the winter biome to find this calico theorem. Calico theorem. Correct me on if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, yeah, so they're just going to keep piranhas away. Oh, no, tree, move. I know the tree was there first, but I'm important and stuff, so... Where am I at? Over here. Yeah. And natural piranha deterrent. So if you're on the Sarko, it's going to keep the piranhas away. I'm kind of wondering if you're near the Sarko. Like if, if this piranhas are just going to swim away completely. Or if they're going to just ignore you, if that makes sense. Like I'm not sure what it means by natural piranha deterrent. Um, there should be some fur. Yeah, look at you can give a sneak peek of all the good stuff we're getting from drops. Um, I need fur armor though. Oh wait, no, didn't we only have a, a pelt chest or a fur chest? Probably blind, I can't see it. Yep, there it is, just a chest. Uh, we've got scissors though. Everybody's getting a haircut. Everybody's getting a haircut because we need, I thought there were scissors, there's scissors. Can repair them. Flint and obsidian. We've got both. Everybody's getting a haircut because we need to make some more fur armor. And in order to do that, we need human hair. So, snip snip. Let's go back here and cut Fallen Rebel's hair first. Come on. There we are. You are getting... Oh, wait, didn't I give him a fur last time? Let's take off his helmet. Yes, look at that fro. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is a screenshot. Haha. <laughs> nice. What else can we give him? Romantic? Braids. Oh, he's getting braids. No, braids. Oh my gosh. 18 human hair. Thank you. Oh, let's cut his beard too. Oh, he's going to be so mad I cut his beard. Uh, facial hair, goatee, romantic, curly beard. Thank you for the human hair. La la la, Lexi. Or sorry, Shorty. Shorty's getting a haircut. Does Shorty even have facial hair? Nope. Oh, her hair hasn't even grown back since the last time we cut it. Okay, well, I hope that this is enough to make some fur. It's definitely not. Oh, man. Okay, we'll be right back as soon as we're ready to go. All right, guys, we are on the way to the winter biome. And actually, I might just stay by the beach, try and find some calico theorems. Calicos, we are finding the beer guzzling dudes. And, oh, I should have made a saddle. Oh, well. Um, 
Yeah. And it's already freezing. Let me put on my fur armor of what I've got. Really don't have too much. But hopefully it will help us not freeze to death. Oh, it looks like it already, already is helping. Frozen. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so that, that means in the first TLC, we're going to get the wolf, the bear. Uh, oh, man, what were the other two? The wolf, the bear, the gorilla, and there was one other. Wolf, the bear, the gorilla, and I'm having a complete brain fart right now. The kangaroo, that's right. The kangaroo, the percoptodon. And after that, we are going to get the sarco, the carno, the RG, and the plessy. Pleasey, whatever. Um, I don't use it. RG's getting that complete flip. The look, the new look is. Oh, there's one right there. Level 20. Ooh, sorry, buddy. You're too low level to be my friend. I have standards. Uh, and the RG's getting that completely new look. And its saddle will become a smithy, which is just. Oh, it's. Oh, that's a, whoo. Okay, so that's a UD. We don't need a UD at the moment. We're trying to get us a beer guzzler. God, what's a good name for beer guzzler, guys? When we tame this guy, we're gonna need a super awesome name that totally says what kind of dinosaur he is. Or she. I'm not opposed to getting a high level, uh, she thing, uh, brain fart, uh, beer drinker. Oh man, I'm just not Englishing today. Ooh, a megatherium. What level is he? Four. Nope. So this area is super hostile, and we are not having the best of luck. We find one, it's either about to die, or we start looking around like oh this guy looks like something we should tame and then he dies so uh, we found a spawn map showing other places that we could find them and there are more places near our our base that we can find them so I think we're gonna <coughs> ow uh, uh, I think we're gonna go back that direction and see if we can find some there and we are back okay it's been way too long we went all over the winter biome we went all over the jungle biome we're actually let's pull up a map real quick we're not even close to where we were we had to travel quite some distance to find one that's not about to die so there's two over here there's a low level one I think it was level 12 and then there's level 80 we're gonna try and tame the level 80 it got mad at us, so we flew away, and we're going to try and sneak up on it again. But before we do that, let's go ahead and put on our ghillie chest. It's It recommended to put on full ghillie. I don't have full ghillie. What, is it mad still? Why are you still mad at me? Okay. We're going to wait for this guy to de-aggro completely, and then we will be back to walk up and try and tame this guy. Guys. We are back, and this is the level 80, I'm pretty sure, up here in between the trees. Level 80. Did I say male? Male. So if we got an extra beer, it might not be bad to tame that level 12, because if we could breed them, we could potentially get some better stats. But we are going to try and sneak up now on the calico and give it some bubbly beverages. No, don't look at me. I'm supposed to sneak up on you with the beer. Sneak up and go... Here's some alcohol. Get drunk on me. No, no, don't look at me. 47%. Okay, run. I don't know if he'll get angry. Some things get angry after you feed them. I don't know what the feeding interval is. I don't know how often we're supposed to go back down there and feed him. So we're just going to try and stay with him. We threw down some sleeping bags here. Um, Let me... uh. I just want to make sure we can keep him in eye shot, but it looks like he's just hanging out here. They're wicked cool looking. I love the stripes. Let's see, get a close up of this guy. I love the stripes. Um, yeah, and they walk on their knuckles. They can throw like rocks and mud and stuff. 
suppose I could go check and see if I can feed him now. Da, 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 He's not hungry. Okay, he's not hungry yet. But the other thing that always worries me about passive tames is I don't know how long something has to be, how long of you not feeding it until the passive tame goes away. Like with regular tames, if there's no food in the inventory, uh, like you forgot to give it enough food, it will, uh, whatchamacallit, it'll stop. And it will lose all of its effectiveness, lose all of its progress, and it's kind of a pain. Look at him, it's so funny looking. Super cool though. Still not hungry. It looks like he's gonna take three as well, so we will be right back when he is ready to eat. No compy. Or we won't be back. Wait, what are you? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. What do you want? Get away. Get away. I'm done playing these games, compy. I've got beer. Still not hungry, okay. The Calico Theorem. Please be hungry again. Shit, they're gonna fight. I need to stay away. Okay. No. Don't be mad. I've got beer. Don't look at me, don't look at me. I've got beer. Oh. He didn't go up in effectiveness. He's maybe that fight with the dinosaur reset him. Is he mad? I gave you beer. Why are you mad at me? It's your favorite food. Fly away, and then come back. You don't see me until you drink of the beer. Okay, he's at 94.8, so the next one he will be tamed. Yes! We have tamed him. Look at that. We tamed the Calico Theorem, level 119. Oh man, 3,700 health, 720 stamina, 472 weight, 231 melee damage. Ooh, I'm super excited. Come on, buddy. Let's go up here. Oh my god, this rain is so hard to see anything. RG was right here. Cool. So, what we are going to do is we are going to go up the hill and see if we can find that level 12 and because it was a female and see if we can tame it with one beer but if not I'm not worried about it we have a beast of a calico theorem right here I'm super excited to take it on a siege all right let's go ahead and oh this is gonna be a little difficult getting back but yeah we will be right back all right, guys, we found that level 12. And I think that we are going to try and give him this one beer and see if it's an instant tame. I can't even remember. Was this boy or girl? Uh, so this is a girl. So we could breed them if this one lives to get back to base. Let's give this a shot. Oh, instant tame. Okay, so this is a really terrible level. Uh, stats stats are pretty bad, but we could at least breed them and make sure we don't run out of calico theorems. Am I even saying that right? Calico theorem. Nice. So let's get on the Argentavis. Whistle these guys to follow me, and let's get to the water and get these guys on our boat, 
and head back to the home. Shit. Oh my gosh, this is chaos, guys. Everything is attacking us. But these guys are just throwing rocks and kicking ass, taking names. Actually, they're not even taking names. They're just killing stuff. They are sweet. Oh, I want to see these guys wreck these compies. Smash them. Throwing rocks at compies. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, no don't go crazy with the fish. No, no, no. Come back. Oh, and that's a Sarko, but we want to get you out of the water to fight the Sarko. Get him. Get him. Sarko 108. Done. Can't put it here. What about right here? Boats in the water. What is attacking me? Hesperornis? I don't care about you. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, guys. You, you don't gotta destroy everything. All oh, these guys are great. I love them already. They're gonna fit in perfectly. Alright, guys. They are on the boat. And... We are headed back to base. It's super bright. I might slow my gamma up, but at this point, I don't want to slow down. There is Sarkos around us and all kinds of bugs. And as you see, the lower level uh, beer, Guzzler, is already a tad bit bloody. So we're just going to keep going. Shit, shit, there's a whale. Nope, never mind. I was a Megalodon. False alarm. Thought it was a whale, and I thought he was going to destroy our raft. So this is where it gets dangerous when we have to go out into the deep water a little bit to avoid the rocks. This is where the whales can get us. It's super scary because they fucking wreck rafts. It's not even funny. Well, actually, it's pretty funny, but I don't, I don't like it. I'm trying to get these guys back to base in one piece. And then right here, we've got to go on the outside of the swamp to avoid all the swamp creatures and that's going to put us directly over the deep sea oh boy um, crossing my fingers uh, swiper no swiping uh, whale no biting leave me alone I say whales, I, c I can't remember what they're called, ichthyornis or something but they're enormous fish oh my gosh sarcos and they have a fetish for boats I'm not even joking it's obnoxious avoiding a swamp with sarcos by the sounds of that it sounds like yep I thought so sarco sarco yep okay Shit. I'm stuck on the Sarko. Fuck. This is gonna suck. Okay, fight him. Oh, man. This is not good. Where is, uh... Where's my RG? Oh no, he's killed by a Sarko. Kill him, fight. So we lost the, oh shit, I, I didn't drop my weapon. Okay, 
Oh man. Um Get him. Get him. This is so unsafe. What? Oh. And we got to go find the RG too. No, I'm tranking my own guy. That's a bad idea. Okay, come here. Okay. We got to go find our RG. No, snake. Fuck off. Whistle passive. No, I don't care about the snake. I need my RG. Oh, he's on the boat. Get off the boat. Bad snake. Oh, fucking tits. RG. 